Wow Quiz Episode 15, The Ultimate Wow Neckbeard Quiz. All right. Oh, boys. You ready? Let's do it. Welcome. This is part 15 of the Ultimate WoW Neckbeard Quiz, one designed to test your limits. If you have any complaints on the questions being too difficult, too bad. Start the game by clicking on the link in the video description below, and don't okay. forget to have fun. If you're we not sure watched, how the game is played, watch the rest we of- We haven't watched one of these for a very long time, so we'll go through the intro so you guys understand what's going on. ...this video. There are a total okay. of 15 questions, you will hear me say this often. Each question is more difficult than the last. Right. The goal is to answer as many of them correctly as possible. Yes. Each question is worth one point. Absolutely. Here is a scale with which to track your performance. Flawless victory. After the fifth Matt question, you will be able to make use okay. of a 50-50 lifeline. All right, not a lot of leeway there. Works will be touched on. Not a lot later. of leeway. If you are playing alone, you are allowed to use the 50-50 lifeline twice throughout the game. If you are playing with friends or an audience, then instead you get to use a 50-50 only once. But, in addition, you can also ask your friends or your audience for help. But just like with 50-50, you can only do this once. Okay. So I can- I get two. WoW Neckbeard Quiz Series is a game that consists of 15 questions which, yes. in ascending order, increase in difficulty. I questions are right. themed it around all things difficulty. Warcraft, it's lore, irrelevant. gameplay, PvE, PvP, geography, etc, etc, etc. Each question includes four options, one of which is the correct answer. You must select the correct answer in the video description to progress further. Okay. Unfortunately, the game is unmoderated. I have no way of knowing what is happening on and behind your screen, and I would rather not know. Therefore, you have complete leeway to play the game in any way you want. Very for true. maximum entertainment and, also and real. spice, however, oh, yeah. I strongly suggest that you follow oh, the yeah. rules. Here they are. Always keep the volume at a reasonable level to hear the music and the video dialogue. Trust me, this is important. Okay. Absolutely no cheating. No, no cheating. use of third-party okay. websites or friends telling you what is the correct All answer right. to All right. That's going to be Unless hard for me, but I'm going to do my best. No skipping the videos. I will videos. not cheat. Unless I will you try have not seen it for cheat. the second time throughout. You must answer all 15 questions correctly, and yes. you can only use each lifeline once. What is a lifeline? It's something to help you out if you are struggling with a question. After the fifth question, you will get access to a 50-50 lifeline, which you can use to eliminate two incorrect answers, leaving you with a correct answer and one incorrect answer. Now, I hope I have explained the whole thing as best as I could. I think it is time at last is it to time? start the game. Do this by finding a link in the video description below. Click on All right. it and All right. have fun. Here we go. 100% focus, gentlemen. This is the first time I've I've almost gotten one of these completely right, but this you is going to be the beginning. You are playing part 15 of the Ultimate This is where I actually get them all right. Series. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate that. I will need it. The primary means of aerial zone-to-zone -zone travel on Azeroth and beyond is managed by a group of NPCs called A. Wing Lords, oh, that's B. Aviators, Dude, that... C. Flight Masters, D. Sky Lords. Dude, they should have called them Wing Lords. That sounds way fucking cooler. Dude, Wing Lords is, is, is way fucking cooler. Okay. Wait, I almost clicked it. <laughs> Alright, Flight Master. Good job. Good. Okay. The ranks of which of these covenants consist of manual workers which bear a strong visual resemblance Securian. to owls? A. Venthyr. Kyrian. B. Necrolords. No. C. The Night Fae. D. Kyrian. D. The Kyrian. There it is. Easy. This is the easiest easy of my life. Everybody knows that. It's the stupid little owls. Which are slaves, by the way. Oh, wow. Who would have thought you would know? Wow, I did know about that. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Wow, I'm so proud of myself. Okay. Okay, come on. In the context of today's state of the game, that's 902, which of these words portends doom in the eyes of most PvP enthusiasts what? when facing a feathered B? 
beast. What? A golf stroke. B egg yolk. C slowpoke. D convoke. Oh. Oh. Never mind. I understand exactly what he's talking about. Okay. Uh <laughs> okay. Very cute. Not bad, I guess. I was confused by that question. The name Coldheart Interstitia is associated with which of these options? Torghast. A. Nuxtramus. B. Torghast. C. Frost Mages. D. Frost Decays. Alright. It's B. Torghast. Everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. This is the easiest question I ever had my whole life. Boom. It's B. Wow, you're on a roll. I hope you can keep it that way. Oh, uh, fuck you. Okay. Come on. How many dungeons and raids with the word Blackrock in their name exist in oh, the game? Fuck. A6, B4, C3, D5. Blackrock Mountain, Blackrock Foundry, uh, Blackrock Caverns, uh, Blackrock Depths. Blackrock Mountain, Blackrock Caverns, Blackrock Foundry, Blackrock Depths. Is it four? How much time do I have? All right, all right, let me think. Blackrock Spire. So that'd be five. And is it upper and lower Blackrock Spire or is it just Blackrock Spire? I'm going to assume it's just Blackrock Spire. So I'm going to say five. And then would be six because you'd have the heroic version too. Does that count? Is that five? Is it five or six? It's six. It's six. Well, let's see. There's Blackrock Depths, Lower and Upper Blackrock Spire, Blackrock Caverns, and Blackrock Foundry. That's five. Wait a second. So. Blackrock Caverns, Blackrock Depths, um, Blackrock Caverns, Blackrock Depths, Blackrock Spire, Upper Blackrock Spire, Blackrock Caverns. Well, which one did I add? I'm wait a sec. I'm confused. Well, then how did I wait? How did I get to six then? You added Mountain. I don't think I. It was Blackrock Depths. Blackrock uh, Foundry, Blackrock uh, Upper Blackrock Spire, Lower Blackrock Spire, Blackrock Caverns. Did I just add Blackrock Mountain? Did I really do that? Blackrock Mountain, Blackrock Caverns. I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay. Let me let me go back. It was I think it was what was it D. Yo, it's D. All right, I got that one wrong. Well, let's see. There's Blackrock Depths, okay. Lower and Upper Blackrock yes, Spire, yes, Blackrock yeah, Caverns, and yeah. Blackrock Foundry. That's five. Okay. Congratulations. Every question from now on shall be outfitted with a 50-50 lifeline. I felt like I was running out of time, and, uh... Gets the fucking it, it gets like whenever I feel like I'm under pressure, I, I I'm like I don't I don't do well under pressure. My brain stops working. I fucked up. In accordance with the rules, try to okay. use this lifeline only once throughout the game. Here we go. Now, I wish you good luck. In which year was World of Warcraft: Myths of Pandaria released? 2012. A 2012. B 2011. It was C, released. 2013. D, 2010. It was released on September 25th. Yeah, September 25th, 2012. Yay, you got it right.
Easy. 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 Too easy. What is the name of the disease strain with which Vectus in Uldir infects I'm players no during it. its encounter? A. Delta Parasite. No. B. Red Death Virus. Basically. C. Omega Vector. Is. D. Hematocythemia. The 24th letter of the Greek alphabet is, um, yeah, it's uh, in your answer. See? If I, dude, I, I know, like, m the way my brain works, right, is I never have to think about things. I either know them or I don't. That's just the way it works. Like, I will literally either know something immediately as soon as I see it. Like, there's no thinking required. Like, I, I used to always take tests as fast as possible. Because if I ever thought about my answers, I would go back and get them wrong. Never, I never second guess myself. And if I do, I will lose. Which electric term inspired the name of the first boss encounter of the Mechanar? This is a trick question. There are two bosses that you can do in the Mechanar. Uh, so this is because there is no technical first boss in the Mechanar because you can go through it in multiple ways. So uh, this is a bad question. A. Reactance. B. Inductance. C. Capacitance. D. Resistance. I think it's capacitance. I'm not sure. Depends on how you want to look at it. Oh no, what have you done? I was gonna try and roast you, but I can, because you got it right. And I, st I have people... There are you clowns, you clowns in my chat that actually think that I didn't play TBC or some shit. Y'all actually think that. You actually, you actually think that. Give me a break. What was the name of the Iron Horde's expeditionary force tasked with invading Azeroth? A. The Iron March. B. The Grum Car. C. Dragon Maw Expedition. D. Blackrock okay. Legion. Say. Wow. Who would have thought? Yep. Yep. There it is. Yep. That's that easy for me. Okay. Players who wish to reach the peak of Mount Neverest by foot must begin their ascent from which side of the mountain's base? Bro, A like, I don't even know... So Mount Neverest is the fucking mountain in Kunlai Summit in Missa Pandaria. But... Here's the reality. So it's in the, it's in the back. Like you would come up from the back. So what is the is it the northern? Because this is like like how like I remember that remember that SpongeBob episode where Patrick he didn't know if it was north or east and he said west. That resonated with me. It did. That resonated with me. I remember that happened. I was like, man, somebody gets it. At least somebody fucking gets this shit. I think that it's the northern side. It must be the northern side because there's a quest. The eastern. It's got northern. It, it's southern, gotta be northern. D western. I'm I'm like 80, 90 percent sure it's northern, because you can't go up from the front. The side has the like this side has a mogu on it. The other side is right next to Shadowpan Monastery, and it's got that goat that you can kill that gives you the item that makes you ride a goat that's fast. And so it has to be the northern side. 
It fucking has to be the northern side. If I get this wrong, I'm going over there in game right fucking now. Just in case you're not entirely sure, Mount Neverest is in Conlai's summit yeah. in Pandaria. Oh, and just in case you didn't know, you got the question right. Woohoo! Okay. Alright. 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 Okay. Alright. Okay. Right. okay, good. There it is. All that is left now is the last third of the package, and these questions are extraordinarily difficult. Maintain your focus, read every question carefully, and finally, good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not that I would need it, but thank you. Which of these green dragons, once guardians of the outdoor Emerald Dream portals, appears in the Emerald Nightmare Raiden They all do. A. Lethless. What? Oh, it's Lethal. B. Rothos. C. Dream Stalker. D. Dream Tracker. Oh, 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 it's the small ones before you get to the trash. Um, I think it's Dream Stalker? So basically, uh, in the Emerald Nightmare fight, uh, there's the four dragons. And there, these are the trash mobs that you fight before you get to them. And I remember this trash mob was so fucking annoying, and I don't remember which one it was. I think it was Rothos or Dreamstalker. I'm I'm gonna 50-50 this shit. It's either Rothos or Dreamstalker. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's be. It's almost like a dream come true, cause you got it right, it's Rothos. There it is! I thought, dude, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, but I didn't know. I wasn't sure. I thought, though. I got it. Alright. The reason why I didn't think it was Dreamstalker is because Dreamstalker is one of the dragons in Sunken Temple. And all of the dragons that were in the Emerald Nightmare raid were either trash mobs or the, the dragons themselves of the four dragons of Nightmare or trash mobs that were around the area. So Dreamstalker seemed like it was not going to be the option. In which expansion did the Enkeladon species make its first appearance in game? Battle for Azeroth, right? A. Battle for Azeroth. B. Mists of Pandaria. C. Warlords of Draenor. Oh, is, okay, all right. D. Think. Legion. Okay, so Ankleodon. All right. Wait, was it in Wad? Because I know they were in BFA. I know these fuck asses were in BFA. I know for a fucking fact they were in BFA. In, in Legion, there's no way. There's no way they were in Legion. Um. Okay, so, so it, 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 it could be BFA, it could be WAD. It could be BFA, it could be WAD. I'm thinking, maybe in Gorgrond? Maybe in like one of those little places in Gorgrond? Like the outskirts? There could be like one of the little, little guys? It's gotta be, it's gotta, dude, it's, it's gotta be WAD, man. It's, got, it's gotta fucking be WAD. Like, there's no way it's not WAD. But, but like, maybe, maybe, it, maybe it was just in, in BF. Because Anquiodon, like, they didn't really have, like, how many other dinosaurs did they even have in WAD? Like, how much time do I have left? Fuck! Okay, uh... Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna get this one wrong. I think I'm gonna get this one wrong, man. Like, I'm 100% gonna get this one wrong. But I know, I know I'm gonna get it wrong. Like, this is gonna be 100, is 100% wrong. Uh, I'm 100% getting this one wrong. Alright, see. Who on earth is supposed to know what an Ankylodon is, right? It's a dinosaur! Fuck! 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 I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it, man! I, I knew it for a... What did I tell you guys about second guessing myself? I said I never do it, and when I do it, I fuck up. And I just fucked up. I knew that they were in Zandalar. I knew it. There's no other prehistoric species in Gorgrond. Think about it. There's none. There are Rylax, there's Grons, there's no Anquiodons. I knew that. Fuck! 
I, I, I knew, uh, man, I should count that one as being right, man. I fucking, I played myself. The only two that I've gotten wrong, I've literally gotten wrong because of some stupid shit in my head. Like, fuck, man. God, I'm so fucking mad. How do I lose this? Eh, lucky. Okay. Okay. That's bullshit, man. The river beasts look just like those angry hounds. Which of these pieces of the Iron Weave battlesuit set is still obtainable in the retail version of WoW? A. Pants B. Boots C. Cowl D. Bracers So, Iron Weave is a either high stamina or high armor value uh, set of gear that you're able to get. And I think the only way that you're able to get the rest of the set is through killing the summonable rares that you can get for the tier 0.5 quest line. And I'm assuming that the item that you're able to get is from the bracers. I think that it's the bracers, but I don't fucking know. Actually, you know what? I want to use the audience for this one. Wh which one is it, guys? Yeah, I have I have one audience choice. Which one is it? 50% of people are picking D. Okay, guys, listen. If you fuck me with this, stream's over. Stream's fucking over if you guys fuck me with this. Nice one. There it is, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. In which month of the year 2016 did Chris Metzen announce his retirement from Blizzard Entertainment? A. September B. July C. June D. October It's September or October. Chris Metzen did the announcement for his new game last October, which would have been 10 years, four years, excuse me, after he left from Blizzard. And I remember I did a video of whenever Chris Metzen left, and I think that I was wearing a long shirt in that video, which implies that it probably was October. Because it doesn't really get cold here until October, so I'm going to bet October. It was a sad day in that month, but thankfully, it is not as sad as your lack of knowledge. I, I was top two. Like, I was top two. I mean, I, I think uh, that's not... I'm not feeling bad about that. Like, I was top two. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It was like it was two months away. It was a sad away. day in that month, but at least your choice brings some joy. September it is. I hope you're ready, because you are about to lose. Everything. In the fateful story of Paramount and Theleste, what was it about the latter that prompted Paramount's parents to disallow their son from meeting Theleste? 
A. Her social class. B. Her age. C. Her race. D. Her lineage. What is this from like fucking ancient Greece or some shit? The fuck? What? What is this like? A, is yeah, like. Okay. It's probably not her age. I'm gonna rule that one out. Because I don't think Blizzard would want to get into that. I think it's probably C. If I had to guess, I think it's probably C. And I really do mean on this one, I am guessing. You ever heard of archaeology? It's where the question comes from. Not no. many people know it exists. It's a joke, really. Just like your it choice. Because the correct answer is A, bold to look confusing on the outside. But what? in truth, the correct answer is... C. I'm not sure how long I can keep doing this. The longer this takes, I'm the not more sure. I devalue the question. Right? Well, be it as it may, a is correct, and you are a loser. Goodbye. Fuck! Oh well, you tried. Better luck in the next episode. Next quiz in the lineup will honor the upcoming release of TBC Classic by including TBC-themed questions only. Stay tuned. Furthermore, if you haven't seen it yet, there is a new Raid Boss Guide video on my channel where I run you through on how to beat Rexdroy. And that's it. Until Spoiler another time. Spoiler alert, you can't. How was I supposed to know that? Play the geography thing? I can play the geography thing if you guys want. But like, Romeo and Juliet? See, that's what I kind of assumed. But like, here's the problem with Romeo and Juliet. I never read Romeo and Juliet. Everybody else in my class did. I said, fuck that. I don't give a fuck about no love story. That's for that's for losers, man. I wanna I wanna read the, the Odyssey again. Fuck that.